It's uh, 5.20, about to kick off another day of interviews. I don't even know where we're going. <laughs> Clearly I'm lost. <laughs> uh, hey, almost a week down, I'm tired, but if you want something, you gotta grind. I just want people to know that they are worth it. This guy messaged me at 3 a.m. this morning and said, hey, I heard about your book recently and told my brother and his wife about it. Stephen read it today, the whole book, said he couldn't put it down. My brother doesn't want to say things like that, but here's the special part. For the first time since he's returned from his last deployment in 2011, my brother and I had the longest conversation tonight about a lot of things he experienced. He explained in detail some of his mission and his role in everything. I've never been able to really ask him questions or discuss these things with him, but tonight, out of nowhere, he is very talkative, and I'm certain that in some way your book opened up something in him, so thank you. be on Instagram at 6.42 in the morning, but I, I feel like until about 4 p.m. today, it might be the last chance I get, so, uh, and uh, yesterday, happy uh, 30th birthday to me, sorry to everyone uh, that wished me happy birthday, that I uh, couldn't respond back to yesterday, I am sincerely sorry but uh, I do uh, love you and appreciate your support. So uh, now you know why I ghosted on you. Let's do this. Are we in a doctor's office? <laughs> I'm assuming it's, the interview's not going out here. Hi, good morning. Is there anywhere for interviews in this building? Interviews uh, for what? BMAL 105.9, oh, fourth floor. Yeah. Mm, need coffee immediately. Four, four. Oh, ESPN. Nice. See what I go through. Out here stranded. Heather, help me. Hi. Hey, what's up, sir? I'm, hey. I'm being interviewed this morning. Okay. So I'm waiting for Heather. Uh, okay, is she coming to get you? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Just making sure you're all right. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's like so freaked out we're in here. Do, do people think we want to be in here at, at 6.30 in the morning? Hey, how are you? Good, good morning. Good you too. Wonderful. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, really great, really excited to have you here. And you're so, you're, you dressed up so nicely for us. I don't know if it was just for us or if there's other people you're seeing today. Oh, of course it's just for you, but there are other <laughs> oh, people. Good. <laughs> hey, sir, good, to, good to have you. Kyle, it. thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, nice to meet you. The reason why this book is so compelling as a concept is simply because whatever you are dealing with broadly, whoever the, the royal you is, listen to what Kyle Carpenter has gone through. And then think about it and be like, yeah, if Kyle can. You know, it's one thing to physically make it, mm. but to be, which so many service members are, and this is, you know, a great topic just to hit on, but traumatic brain injuries and all of the scars, emotional or mental, that from blast or concussions or whatever, you know, can come from, you know, the physical part is just half the battle. And so I am just forever grateful that I not only woke up and was able to recover, but, uh, you know, I was, uh, for the most part, still me. And that's why I think this book is so great that if somebody knows anyone who needs hope, who's struggling, this is a great book. This is fantastic. You share your story and how you got through it. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to serve and sacrifice, and you are worth it. Thank you for your service, 724 on WMAL. Amazing. I don't think we've ever had a guest in here before where you could hear a pin drop. Thank you. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, 
It's about 8.03. We're here at Good Day Washington. As always, appreciative for the opportunity. Just trying to spread the good word about my new book, You Are Worth It. And uh, hopefully this interview goes as uh, smooth as the other ones. I got a song right now that I'm uh, oh. playing called California. Nice, um, man. It's a new song that I just put out. And uh, you know, I'm grateful to be up here to I'll to spread play. the good word. Yes, sir. Thank you so yeah, much, man. man. I appreciate sure. it. Marine Corporal William Kyle Carpenter's unit was involved in a firefight in Afghanistan almost a decade ago. And that firefight would change his life forever. And he joins me now. We are so honored to have him here on Great Day Washington as we talk about his book and also everything you're doing. That's just honestly so inspiring. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Paul Warren has been living his best Awesome. Life. Thank you so much. So awesome. great meeting you. Yeah, you too. Yes, sir. Thank you for all you've done, man. I appreciate I really it, man. appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Yes, Keep sir. on grinding. Hopefully where, where are you from? You from around here? Uh, South Carolina. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm from North Carolina. Oh, no. Well, I moved to Charlotte a year ago. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, where are you at in North Carolina? Um, I'm from Jacksonville. Camp Lejeune. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. From, from Camp Lejeune. I don't know man. if I've ever met someone from there that's not a Marine. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We grew up right off the military base, man. So, okay. you know, I have a ton of respect for, for the military. That's man. awesome, so thank man. You so much. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thanks, sir. man. Man, keep killing it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm tag you in, in the picture, man. Oh, and, uh, you for know, sure. On my, on my Instagram. For sure. We'll stay stuff. connected. Yes, sir. Cool, yes, man. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes, I'm myself too hard for anything I said yet. So. Yeah. But yeah. doesn't he have like the nicest smile of anybody? Uh, I know. A million <laughs> dollars. Thank you, smile. Walter Reed. <laughs> oh, you're already leaving? Well, the good news is they sold out of your book. The bad news is now I gotta go find a copy so I can get your signature. Oh. So. Do you want to give her this one? We'll we get... got a couple extras in the car. Sure? I don't want you to run oh, anywhere. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, uh, we'll get one for this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you, you take so this much. one. And then I'll, after, I'll, or somehow, we'll go Thank back you. to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you See you inside. Thank you. All right. You ready, Ben? You ready to capture the madness? <laughs> First of all, uh, you know, I'm always very thankful and feel very privileged and humbled to speak to anyone that wants to come out and hear me ramble on. But uh, anytime I can be in front of people that love and support not only me, but our military and uh, even more specifically our Marine Corps and above all, you know, the Marines in here and all of you who have voluntarily with no one making you when you had a hundred different options and pathways that you could have gone in life. Uh, you voluntarily walked into that recruiting station and uh, raised your right hand. And I think the heart of a volunteer is one of, if not the most powerful thing on this earth. So uh, first and foremost, thank you. But I would encourage you to you know, really think about what you did and how profound and powerful that is and you know, to keep in mind, you know, be extremely proud of not only what you did but who you are. And I know you already are but the uniform that you wear. Outstanding. Thanks very much. Um, looks like we're out of time. Uh, I've been asked to have everybody stay in their seats until uh, 
you're escorted off. And before you leave, uh, how about one big happy birthday? <laughs> happy birthday. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you so oh, much. Boy. Dude, you're so in. That's amazing. What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. What's up? Good to see you, you doing? Doing? Good, man. I know. I thought I'd oh, surprise you. <laughs> Such a good surprise. Good. So good to see you, man. Hey, Dad. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, Dad. How during prayer because I had a moment to myself. Yeah. And I want to thank you because you gave me such encouragement. Oh, I have followed wow. you and prayed for you every day since. That is amazing. And I did I thought I would have the opportunity to say thank you and see you again. And thank you for sharing your journey with all of us. Thank such you. Such a pleasure. Mm. May, may God bless you all. He's great. Three brain surgeries later, he's on the Joint Chief of Staff at the Pentagon. Are you serious? And went back and got a second master's. He's put me to shame. And I thank you so much for getting us through a really dark place. Well, tell him thank I said hello and it's an honor to serve with him. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.